guys, I've got a video that has been really requested for me to do ever since I had my boob job. Now, I actually vlogged that experience. I will leave the vlogs below if you want to see. But ever since I had it done, I've had so many tweets and questions on my videos and stuff asking if I will do an experience. I had my operation, I think it was the 16th of December, so just before the Christmas period. And I had implants, but I also had an uplift. If you guys have seen my weight loss surgery video, you'll know that I lost eight stone, which is a heck of a lot of weight, and I was left with kind of saggy boobs. So what they do in an uplift operation is they cut around your nipple, move it up, cut some skin off and stuff, and jiggle it all about, and then sew it all back together. I'll put something on screen that basically describes it right now, but that is what they do. So my boob job wasn't just having implants, and it was to correct like a weight loss kind of thing, if you know what I mean. Before I went into surgery, I had a size B boobs and I decided to get a size D. I don't know how many cc's that is, but yeah, I got a D from being a B and I'm so happy with it. I actually went private with this operation so I paid for everything myself and I would suggest doing your research a lot if you are thinking about having your boobs done. I'm not going to list my surgeon below because he did do a lot of other work on me and he isn't like a specialist with boobs, he's like a weight loss surgery specialist so it's kind of a different thing but yeah there are a lot of amazing places like I think there's one called Maya. I think I paid around £7,000 for mine which is more expensive than if you just have the implants. Like obviously I had an uplift as well, so my operation was a lot longer. But I'm pretty sure it should be around like the five mark if you're just gonna have implants. But yeah, mine was around seven. I went into hospital on the morning of the 16th and I was actually the first person to go in. I think my operation took about two hours to do, so it wasn't that long to do. And when I woke up, I was absolutely do lally. From the anaesthetic, I was crazy. I'll insert a little clip here. But as I said, I've vlogged my entire experience, so I'll just leave the playlist below to that. Oh, hello. Uh... I wasn't expecting that when I looked up. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm out of surgery. It went well. I'm shattered. And I can't lift my arms up to hold my camera, so mum's doing it. Thanks, mum. You're welcome. That's what mums are for. See you later. I'm just eating my sandwich. Do you want to show them the sandwich? Oh, in case you haven't watched my weight loss surgery video, at the same time as having my boobs done, I actually had a operation on my arms to get rid of my bingo wings. Please, please, please watch that video if you haven't already because that explains a lot of things in a lot more detail and why I felt the need to have stuff done. I didn't actually feel that feeling that a lot of people do of your chest feeling really tight. I got that feeling for like a day after about a week, but as soon as I come out of the operation, I didn't feel anything like that. It just felt like I'd got boobs. I don't know if it was because of the anesthetic and the painkillers, but I didn't really feel too much. Like it wasn't that uncomfortable. It was just like sitting up in bed, like bringing myself up that was painful. And when you come out of having a boob job, you've usually got drains in. I don't want to make a boob job sound like the most glamorous thing in the world because it's really not. Like the drains were absolutely horrendous. They're basically these tubes that go inside your body. I had two like under my boobs. So they go inside your body and kind of like worm around and they're there to collect blood. That sounds disgusting, but when you've had an operation, there's like a lot of internal stuff that gets wobbled about, so you have to have these drains in, and they are hands down the most painful part of having an operation, in my opinion. I'd had these drains before with other ops, but the ones for my boob job were the most painful things ever. It took them about two hours to get them out. It honestly felt like they'd got some string wrapped around my lungs, and they were just pulling my lungs out of my body. It was horrendous. So it took them 
them forever and ever to take them out and I'm really good with pain like pain doesn't really affect me that much but that was horrendous I was screaming and I just never ever do that so that is one of the downfalls of having a boob job I would say for some people that actually might not hurt just because of where it is or how kind of indented it's got on your inside but yeah that was the worst part of the operation hands down I had about 30 stitches around each nipple then I had some stitches going down and stitches underneath my boobs and I got them taken out at about two weeks after my operation and that was horrible but it was mostly the thought of it that was horrible like when I actually got them taken out it really didn't hurt at all but when you looked at it it was so weird it was just like these sewn on nipples and it just looked so strange so those are kind of the surgical bits to tell you I've got a whole list that I wrote down from how I felt after the operation I struggled putting my coat on because that movement across my chest really hurt obviously because I was cut open I would get one that zips up or clasps up on the front side like sports bras are really good but you need to have one that you don't have to put over your head because you can't lift your arms up very well and your shoulders are a bit like disorientated so I'll link a couple of examples below but you kind of want one that zips up on the front because that means you don't have to move too much to put it on you just like slip your arms in and then you do it up at the front I had to sleep on my back for 18 days, specifically 18 days I've, I've written down here. You can't sleep even a tiny bit sideways or anything because of the pain. For me that was okay because I was so like high on painkillers that I just fell asleep like that anyway. Because I had an uplift, obviously they moved my nipples, which is always like a risky thing to do and you can lose feeling from that. And I've actually lost feeling in one of my nipples. It still acts the same, like it's still, do you say that nipples go hard? I don't know. You know when like your nipples go hard? They still do that, but I just can't feel one of them. But the feeling can also come back over time, so I'm just hoping that mine does that. I've actually got two different implants in my boobs and that is because my surgeon accidentally put the knife through one of them before he put it in my body so that one was kind of void after that. Obviously that's a complete accident, like that can't be helped at all. That means I do personally have two different ones in and I'm going to go back and talk to my surgeon because I think I will be having that corrected because I can tell of a difference in my boobs, like one of my implants is quite high it feels quite high then the other feels quite low so like one's there and one's up here they don't look different though which is really strange like they, they literally look the same but it's just how they feel I would like them to look not as natural so when I do go back and get my implant changed I'll also be getting different ones put in to make them just look a little bit like more round and a little bit more fake looking so I've got some questions from people now that I favorited on Twitter. The first question is, do they still look and feel like real boobs? Yes, mine 100% do. People get really shocked when they feel mine, because obviously like I let my friends touch them and stuff, because they honestly just feel like normal boobs. And I think it's because he did do mine very, very natural looking. So they feel really natural. Obviously, if you're getting them from being like really, really small chested and you don't have a lot of fat there yourself already they will probably feel a little bit more fake but I personally think the implants just feel like normal boobs they just feel like squidgy I think I actually prefer the feel of implants to normal boobs now that you know how painful it is will you be doing it again to get the correct implants yes I will definitely go back and get the correct implants in like I said I would like to change my implants as well completely so I will vlog about that at the time when it happens it'll probably be later on this year just because I don't want to have another operation before summer were you nervous before getting them done I wasn't nervous before getting them done because I, I knew that I wanted it I think to have a surgery you've really got to want it. Obviously that doesn't mean that you can't be nervous. This was my like sixth operation so I already knew how things were kind of going to work so I wasn't nervous and I trusted my surgeon 100% so yeah I kind of had no reason to be. Has the scarring faded at all? Yes 
it's faded a lot. Like the scars around my nipples are like circle scars. You can literally barely see them. They're just the same colour as my nipples now. And the one going down has faded a lot. And the one under my boob has. Like they've gone really well. When you definitely decided to have it done, did you tell your family? And if so, did they respect your choice? Yes. All my dad said was don't come out like Katie Price <laughs> when she used to have her massive boobs but yeah everyone supported my decision. I feel like people don't really have a place to be judgmental for you about it because it's not their body. Like this is what you choose to do to your body and that's completely your decision so do you feel much happier now you've had your surgery? I'm so much happier. I can actually wear tops without a bra now and stuff. It's the best feeling ever. What was the most painful part of the experience? 100% pulling the drains out. That was just horrendous. Is there anything that you regret from having the boob job done? The only thing that I regret is not having a session where I felt the implants first. But that was just because I trusted my surgeon's opinion. But like I said, he did do them a little bit more natural looking than I would have preferred so I kind of do wish that I had had the consultation where you take a look at different kinds of implants and stuff but I don't regret that too much like it doesn't ruin my life. <laughs> How did slash do you handle people's opinions on getting a boob job? I don't think it's anybody's place to judge your decisions, but if people do judge you for it, I don't know, I just kind of block it out because I just don't think their opinion means anything in my life. Like, I knew that I wanted this done, so whatever anybody else says doesn't really matter to me. But also, I don't think anybody really has judged me for having it done. Obviously, it's totally your decision if you do, but in my everyday life, I don't really flaunt my boobs that much. Like obviously today I'm in a high neck jumper, that's just my style in general. I don't think I give people a reason to hate on me for it, but at the same time, if you want to flaunt your boobs, like that's totally your decision anyway. So that is my boob job experience. I hope that this has answered all of the questions that you've had. I'm sorry if I didn't focus too much on the surgery, but that is because I vlogged it, so I don't want to be really repetitive. I just wanted to tell you the things that I struggled with after, but overall, I'm so happy with my decision of having it done. If you've got any more questions, leave them in the comments and I'll definitely answer them in the comments. I'll be reading them and I'll go through and answer them. But give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will see you in my next one. Bye!